I know I am going to pronounce her name wrong. I just know it. Part of me wants to say that this lovely lady's name is pronounced Joan Marie, but I can't find a single interview or video where her name is pronounced that way, so I'm going to butcher it and say Jean Marie. So why are we talking about Jean Marie Hohn today? Well, because she was in a Saturday morning TV show called ARC 2. It was a show that I really dug. In fact, CBS was my go-to network for Saturday morning program right around when this show debuted because they also had a couple of live-action superhero shows that I was pretty darn fond of. So let's talk about ARC 2 for a minute. The show was set in the 25th century after the Earth had been decimated by the effects of waste, pollution, and warfare. Each week, three young scientists along with a monkey, would wander around in a high-tech vehicle called the Ark 2, hence the show's name, to search for remnants of humanity, reintroducing lost ideas, and when possible, reigniting a spark of humanity into a world that had fallen into a very dark age. Along with Han, who was a character named Ruth on the show, it also starred Terry Lester as Ark 2's commander Jonah, Jose Flores as Samuel, and... I don't know the name of the chimpanzee, but he was called Adam on the show! And Arc 2 kind of reminded me of a Gene Roddenberry TV movie that I'd seen a few years earlier called Earth 2, with a dash of Logan's Run mixed in for good measure. It was fairly low budget, and like all of the live action shows in the 70s, there was always, and I mean always, a lesson to be learned by the end of the episode. Ruth and Samuel, they were my favorite characters on the show, and I guess I liked the monkey a lot too. Jonah, on the other hand, well, he wasn't my favorite. Not sure why, just couldn't relate. And speaking of not understanding why, I'm not sure why this episode sticks out as one of my favorites, but I guess any time you can include Robbie the Robot in an episode, well, it shouldn't be missed. H it happened on episode 10. You can find it right here on YouTube, folks. So after this video, why don't you Google that and enjoy. Now, I know that it feels like Arc 2 was on TV for a long time. CBS had it as part of its Saturday morning lineup for almost four years, but the weird thing is, is that much like the shows by Sid and Marty Croft, these filmation productions only had first run episodes for one or two seasons max. In the case of Arc 2, it was just one season. New episodes ran only from September to December of 1976. There were only 15 episodes ever made. But CBS, well, they ran them over and over through 1979. So while reruns of Arc 2 were playing on CBS, Jean Marie had moved on and become a recurring character on competing network NBC's underwater sci-fi adventure series The Man from Atlantis. Of the 17 episodes produced, Jean Marie appeared in 9 of them as a crew member named Jane. I remember watching Man from Atlantis. It was one of those shows that had so much potential. Heck, it even had its own Marvel comic. Sadly, NBC didn't really have that much faith in it and canceled it after a single season. Jean Marie continued to act, showing up on TV shows like Hawaii Five-0 and The Hardy Boys every now and again. But then, if you look at her IMDb page, you can see that things really started to slow down. It was clear that acting was no longer her top priority. Her last working gig was a movie called Blade in Hong Kong, which, although you wouldn't know it looking at either of these posters, actually starred her friend from Arc 2, Terry Lester. After that, she just disappeared. So where did she go? Well, the easiest answer that I could find was on the MeTV website, where they gave a quick one-paragraph update saying that these days she's a pharmacist in Southern California. Well, the first thing that I think about that is, well, it's pretty cool that she's able to get her degree and journey down a career path decidedly different than the finicky world of showbiz. But the MeTV update left me wanting to understand why Jean Marie would go down such a different path. So a little more sleuthing led me to a web page that appears to be a blog of the father of Jean Marie's children. And after reading a few of his posts and looking at a handful of pictures, it's obvious to me that Jean Marie made the right decision. Most likely the driving force behind her decision to leave show business would be her two children, a boy and a girl who are both now grown adults. Most of the photos of, on the blog are of Jean Marie, the mother, not the actress. For privacy purposes, I'm not including any of the pics with her family. Here are a couple snippets that demonstrate that life outside of Hollywood, well, it's been pretty darn good to Jean Marie. She's just as beautiful as ever. If you really want to see more, it's not hard. Just ask Google. So that's it. What do you think? Were you a fan of Arc 2 and in particular Jean Marie Hunt? Or did you prefer the other live action shows that showed up on CBS like Shazam, Space Academy, or Jason of Star Command? 
Let me know in the comments section below and while you're at it, I would appreciate it if you clicked on the thumbs up icon and maybe even considered subscribing to my channel. I talk about music, movies, and mostly television from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most of all and as always, thank you so much for watching.